Hello little gems and welcome back to my channel. So uh, I thought long and hard about which kit I want to do next and I thought do you know what just go ahead do your magpie one because you want to see what they're like. So yeah so that is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to do my kit from Magpie Diamond Art. Really excited about doing it. And everything's stuck. Yes, that is what we're going to be doing next. We are going to be doing our custom from Magpie Diamond Art. Really excited about doing this and I really can't wait. So yeah, um, that's about it really. I'm, obviously, I've already not reached, I've, I've just recently done the unboxing for this. So I don't really need to go into go do another full unboxing. But yeah, uh, this is the picture we are doing. It's one of my customs I got from the auction. So yeah, I'm really excited to be doing this. Three lots of big bags of drills, three tents, and then we've got all our other colours here. So yeah, so let's change the angle and let's get cracking, shall we? And I'm gonna go and kick this up and then obviously get started, all right? Oh, my mind. Now my mind is blown. No surprise, guess I should have known. Oh, my mind. Now my mind is blown, no surprise, guess I should have known You got control of me, break my barricades Walls are crumbling grounds, they shake, you came to save But it's way too late, every single time you stay I cave Just on the last little bit of this half of this canvas, uh, I thought I'd do a little tiny bit of talky talky and everything. So yeah, I try. I'm trying to like as much as I'd love to like split a canvas into four parts. And then it like it's like four videos. I don't know if I, if people actually get bored of that. You know, I'm doing four parts at a time. You know, per per kit. If that makes sense. So I thought I tried to like split each canvas into two. So hopefully you guys don't like get bored of like four parts or anything. But let me know if you prefer to have four parts. I'm more than happy to do four parts per kit. But if you prefer to have two parts, so keep it like a two part. And then I'm more than happy to do that as well. But yeah, let me know um, in the old comments down below. Um... Because I do sometimes wonder, you know, if you guys prefer to have more, like, like that or not. So, I do, I do like, you know, to ask and everything. So, um, yeah, let me know if you'd like to have uh, four parts. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm really enjoying this kit. You know, obviously, this has been my unlucky kit. 
we all have unlucky kits occasionally and everything. And uh, this one was definitely is my unlucky kit. Um, so yeah, um, but the colours have come out gorgeous and all stuff like that. And um, so yeah, it 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 happens every now and then. I don't get mad about it, but obviously, like some people could do, but um. It's only the like the only time I ever will get really mad about a canvas is like when a seller will be dishonest to me. You know, don't tell me the truth of what's going on. Oh, just sorry, hit my head on the ring line as I always do. Um, that's the only time I would actually get really really upset about a canvas, unless it arrived and I. It was completely terrible or, you know, I I was, you know, just imagine like the worst things that, like, for example, like, it came crumbled up in a ball and stuff like that. That's when I'd obviously get mad, but obviously that, in that situation, that wouldn't be the, the seller's fault unless it was in the completely sealed, like, packaging and then crumbled up in the ball. That'd be any time, like, that would be the seller's fault. The night I was at 10, that would be like the postage's fault. It would be like things like when you order from a company and they tell you it's in the UK, you pay UK shipping, and then they order it, they send it from China. And it's like, well, I just, you just said that when it comes to China, it's cheaper. And when it comes from the UK, it's more expensive. But you've just told me, you char you've charged me UK shipping, but... It's coming from China, you know, when things are after like a couple of weeks of it not arriving and you check in and you're like, where's the kit? You know, should really be here by now. And then obviously when they say, oh, wait, it's not, it, it's in China. I was like, well, well, that doesn't really help, does it? You know, you, you say like it was in the UK. But yeah, that was when obviously... And then they go back and say, oh, we never said, we said on hand. I'm like, well, on hand to me, like, you can physically, it's to hand. Like, for example, I have a pen here, that's to hand, you know. I can physically, the person you're speaking to can physically pick it up and send it. You know, not, we have to contact the people in China to send it and then you never get tracking all this stuff, so... That is when, that's when I obviously would get a bit ticked off because obviously they've never thingy and you know, you're like, right, okay, a bit, then you've charged, it's coming from China and you charge me UK shipping and all that. And like, they don't seem to understand that, some thingies, but yeah, the companies like that who don't, who do, don't tell the truth. Other ones I will never go back to. Like for example, yes, I've had some problems with this kit. This is and I and I will always say occasionally we will all get an unlucky kit. We will all get a kit we pay good money for and it's unlucky. Things happen, you know. It's how I always say it's always how the seller, you know, the person you bought it from responds and everything. And to me, I have to say, Kerry for his whole process, you know, has been open and honest. Obviously, originally, this kit was meant to come with AB drills. And um, and when Kerry first got the kit to her, from her supplier, they sent the wrong drills completely. They sent round instead of squares. So Kerry instantly messaged me. Instead of saying, like, oh, there's a delay, we'll let you know when it comes. She was open and honest and said, right, Gem, your kit is here, but they sent the wrong drills. So they sent round instead of square. Um, I've contacted the um, suppliers straight away and they are sending them out ASAP. That I would prefer any day of the week than not being told the truth, what's going on. You know, Kerry's been open and honest. And, like, and then like, when the drills did come, she was like... Um, Gem, I'm so sorry, the ABs haven't turned up. And I'm like, Kerry, honestly, don't worry. It's not the end of the world to have, not to have ABs in a kit. You know, I was like, honestly, as long as I've got all my colours there, 
you know, to be able to do the kit, I'm happy, you know. So they just, obviously they just sent normal drills instead of the A, Bs in them colours. So I was like, as long as I've got the drills to do the kit, that's all That's all I, all I worry about, honestly. So she was like, yeah, yeah, you've got all the colours there. I was like, excellent, fantastic. Just send it over to me. I was that awkward person and asked for it to be sent via every or Avery, or whatever you want to call them, because Royal Mail are always losing packages for me. They lost the um, the swaxes she wanted me to test out and everything for her to get the word out on YouTube about them. Um, so yeah, um, a PR package basically from her and Royal Mail. Don't know what they did with it, but it didn't turn up at first, and then. After a couple of weeks, obviously, I don't like to just start after a couple of days going, where's, where is it, where is it, where is it? So I, I, I did wait like, a week and I like said, I'm really sorry, but the um, wax hasn't turned up. Um, And I explained that where I live, there's another road. There is somewhere, like, for example, I live at... Um, Penn Lane. I I live at Penn Lane, and they sent it to Penn Street. So um, we actually have another road name exactly the same where I live, which is really frustrating because we're always getting each other's posts and everything. And um, I wonder if they sent it there because I have had some parcels go missing in the past from them from Royal Mail. Uh, I've never had that problem with every. I've once had a parcel go missing for two weeks. Um, but it appears like when the, when you sent completely cylinder packages, they tend to go walkies. They tend to get a bit lost in the system and then they will turn up after a couple of weeks. I know, for example, other people have had more, a lot of issues with it every. But me personally, you know, I I would actually trust every more over Royal Mail to deliver my packages. So, um, yeah, I said to Kerry, I went, can I be that pain and um, ask for it to be sent via every? And she was like, yeah, 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 not a problem. And she was like, I've never sent via every before. I said, yeah. I said, they are cheaper and everything. I said, but I'm not doing it because it's cheaper. It's because I trust them more in the Royal Mail not to lose it. Uh, obviously, explain the situation. She said, yep, not a problem, Gem. I will send it out via every for you. I was like, excellent. Thank you so much and everything. You know, she's really, really easy to work with. Every issue I've had, she's thinking, been open and honest. And yeah, honestly, I will definitely be ordering another one of my cats because I've got four set of these cats. And um, so I'll definitely be ordering another one. Um, my friend actually ordered a custom from them, from Kerry. And Kerry checked the canvases when the order arrived. And she said the new lot has come back, come, you know, with the proper stickiness and everything. Because this one is kind of slightly lacking on the stickiness on the edges or the corners. So, um, what I've had to do is, at the very edge, I've had to glue the drills on, just so I know they're not going to fall off when I flip it around and everything. But yeah, um, the Kerry has told me that it, that problem has been solved. So yeah, so please don't think that, oh, I'm not going to order from there then. I would say, you know, always give a seller a chance. Obviously, I will be ordering, oh, I will be ordering from Magpie Diamond Art again, without a doubt. No questions asked, just purely because I know that their customer service is fantastic. You know, I've, you know, this has been my unlucky canvas and Kerry has taken all in a stride, all my feedback to her and everything. And that is absolutely fine. Obviously when I first opened the, the kit, it did feel like it was quite sticky. Uh, but when I was starting to stick down the bottom corners, I was like, oh, hang on. Because obviously when I pull back the plastic, I just tend to do over, like, a little bit further over. And when I was actually, like, 
trying to stick the drills on. I was like, well, this isn't, this is a bit lacking of the old glue in the corners. So I let Kerry know and she took it in a stride. She went, yeah, someone else has let me know. I fed back to the thingy. I really do apologize. I said, it's not the end of the world. I can glue the drills on. You know, I said, I said, it's honestly, I don't need like, I don't want my no money back or anything like that. I don't need that stuff like that. I said, you know, I said, I just wanted to let you know and all that. And she took it all in her stride, bless her, and everything. And, you know, some people would normally get, like, really, like, nasty if, like, there's a problem with a canvas. But I, I don't personally think that would actually get me anywhere. I think I end up with a better relationship with anybody I use for a custom if there's an issue if I thingy I've only ever got what arsey once with a with a seller and I mean I did get I did become a bit of a Karen because I do I did like expect them to be truthful with me and admit oh sorry we were wrong but they could never the whole time they would never admit they were wrong even though they could clearly tell they were wrong you know Kerry is so easy to work with so easy to talk to and everything and also, don't forget to try out her waxes because her waxes, oh, I tell you, they smell amazing. So, yeah, and I am still using the old waxes. I do sometimes forget and end up putting pink in my pen when I replace the wax. But that smells, and you can see it is very, very well used. Very, very well used. My favourite scent at the whole lot is um, Sherbet Lemon. Absolutely love that scent. It smells amazing. That's my favourite one. And then the second, my second favourite is, that one's cherry chocolate. It's here somewhere. Oh, there you go. I picked up a whole load of um, scents. It's the strawberry and ice cream. It smells so good. It does smell like strawberry and ice cream. So, yeah, definitely check them out. So, um, Kerry very kindly did send me a couple of waxes to try out, which I was really grateful for, you know. And after she sent me a whole um, couple of waxes to sample, very kindly, I went and brought a whole ton more. So, yeah, I do have a whole, like, wax collection. And, like, I watched a video of Kerry's the other day on TikTok. And she said um, she's had the same little pot for six months. And I was like, well, I think I just bought um, two and a half years worth there then. I think I've got, and I did give mum a couple as well. But yeah, I bought all different flavours. Oh, I call them flavours. All different scents. And I absolutely love them. So definitely check out her waxes. Um, she, does, she did say that she does need to make some more and everything. And I just want to say also a big, massive congratulations to Kerry. She's just um, rented out a unit to start up a little shop. So that is exciting. For, I'm really excited for her regarding that. You know, if I live closer, I live about an hour away from her. Or just over an hour, about an hour and 20 minutes, something like that. So if I live closer, I would actually go down and see. But you know, next time I'm swinging past Lower Stoff Way, I will be swinging in and having a look. Because, you know, who don't like to stand there and actually look at a massive selection of kits to buy? I know I do. I really do love buying a whole selection of kits. You know, if I can sit there and browse and, you know, you don't really get to do that, do you? I know there was that shop in Great Yarmouth that I went to last year and I got that my massive owl from. And I actually always had problems with that for the glue. But yeah, um, definitely like, I am really excited for her to be over, you know, venturing out and everything. And she's just um, um, acquired some of um, you know, you guys know my friend, Shez Carpenter, Magic of Time. She, they've... Um, she acquired some of Shez's artwork and so she he's got legally licensed artwork which is absolutely amazing i'm really really pleased for her so yeah she is going in an amazing direction and everything so yeah 
It's interesting to see how things go for her. I do love seeing like things, you know, how things go for people. So yeah, I am excited there. And I do, and um, that's the point. Louise from Crazy Porgy sent me a question list, which I knew need to record a video for. Um, and it's actually yeah, like a, a video idea and everything, like a whole load of questions and everything that you answer. So yeah, that should be quite fun. So I need to get that recorded pretty soon. I might try and get it recorded tomorrow or Sunday. And um, tomorrow is Sunday, you donut Gemma. Um, tomorrow or Monday. So yeah, definitely we'll be doing that very soon. So yeah, thank you about that, Louise. Sorry, I haven't done it yet. Life just gets in the way and I keep forgetting. So yeah, she sent me a whole through a whole ton of um questions I can answer and everything and it's a video so and um, yeah so right so i'm going to i've been obviously mostly talking for way 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 too long so i'm going to get this last tiny little bit finished i won't worry about time lapse for this last little tiny bit and then um get cracking and i can show you the finished result and i can show you and i can get cracking in the second part can't i all right give me two minutes well, not well, it won't be two minutes for you, it'll be like three, two, one. bottom part of this kit and then it's time for the top half next i am really really enjoying this kit i have to say yep this is my unlucky kit but it happens we all have unlucky kits at times you know that's why i haven't been like oh rah, 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 rah. because honestly it's about time i had an unlucky kit and poor magpie you know carry it down and art it's just been this time so yeah and i will be ordering again i want to stress that i don't want to stress anybody you know put anyone off giving them a go because honestly i do really i am really enjoying the kit like the colors have come out absolutely gorgeous on this bottom half really have honestly you know so um i will be obviously ordering a second lot from them so um I've got a couple of drills, you know, and I've obviously I have been open and honest about my un what has been unlucky for me for this kit. So, but it's not the end of the world. I just want to stress that it happens occasionally, you know. And I will be ordering again because I want to, and I think it will come out amazing. So yeah, um. I might look at finances and because Kerry's just about to place another order and do another order. Then next month I'll um do a cheeky little prism order because I've got a kit I really want to order from Prism. So yeah, um, I uh, so I want to stress I am really really enjoying how this kit is coming out. It's just my unlucky kit at the moment, you know. So yeah, I will definitely be doing another magpie order. And showing you guys, it was just a one-off and everything is hunky-dory next next time. So, yeah. So, all I've got to do now is this top section. And I didn't, when I started this, I was like, thought I had the middle. But obviously, the middle must be about there. So, I'm a bit over. But that's fine. Obviously, it's still a lot. Let me pull this down. A lot of... Um, bulk you know block area which is fine absolutely handy dandy it's, it's it's good because i'm flying through this kit and it means i can get my next one started soon so yeah i'm um, hopefully this won't take me so much longer really am enjoying the kit still though you know it's how i always find it's how you are feeling when you're doing the kit if you're still enjoying it is how what's the most important part and I am still really enjoying this kit. Yep, I had to glue, you know, this bit down here. And I had to glue, use a bit of glue on this bottom corner here. But that's fine, it happens. You know, it's just my unlucky kit, as I keep saying. 
I know, you must be getting sick of me saying, it's my unlucky kit. It is my unlucky kit this time. And that is absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, I am looking forward to seeing how this is finishes. Because at the moment, I am absolutely in love with the colours. How the colours have just seemed to like pop up out of it. All their bright colours. The colour splashes. And they just seem to just pop out. And really do look amazing. So yeah, so that is it for this video. Um... Thank you ever so much for watching. Don't give me a big comment. Uh, give me a big thumbs up. Comment down below how you get think I'm getting on with this kit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. That's it for the video. Thank you ever so much for watching. And I shall see you next time. Bye, everyone.